Hello, is anybody out there? Can you all hear me? Am I live? Sucks because Twitch chat is like seven seconds behind. Hey, we're live. All right, sweet. It's the Batman. Hello. Okay, first ever live stream. Don't know how to start these things. So, uh, see the fancy little image thing I made in like five minutes? Because I already had the background and just stuck text over it. So it was pretty easy. Yeah, I do sound different. Um, I'm going to have to say beforehand, I'm using an old, like, kind of crappy mic. So, um, you know, I don't have my recording mic with me, and my old headset, like, literally broke in half. So this is what we're dealing with. But, yeah, it, it should sound fine. I did a few tests before. So um, we should be good. Yeah, it's a little echoier. It kind of gets the room a bit more. But, you know, you can hear what I'm saying. So I think that's fine. Okay, so uh, hear you loud and clear. How is the? I guess I guess the volume's fine then. Volume is fine. Sweet. Okay, now we get to balance it with the game. So let me start off with the rules of your Twitch page. Don't be a jerk. Um, that's about all I have. <laughs> Just be reasonable, and we'll be fine. Uh, my hotkeys are not working. Startup issues, of course. Uh, I'll fade out. Should bring this up. It's not a TV. Uh, I'm actually playing the Scholarship Edition on the PC. I bought it on the Steam sale for like three dollars. So there you go. Um, let's see, the best way is probably to get some music playing. Seems fine on my end. The problem with this game is that, uh, yeah, is that the sound is kind of weird sometimes. If you set the audio output to like surround and you're in stereo, it'll play every sound on the map at max volume. So when you're walking around the the school, it pretty much sounds like there's a bunch of ping pong balls rolling everywhere. So you kind of have to work that out. But I've got all that set. It may not work for the first scene, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and exit out. Let's see if I can start a new one here. Oh, there you go. There's the issues. Set it to stereo. Okay, I think I can just hit restart from here and we'll go to the first scene. It's gonna be a little loud, just warning. Uh, it also is not being picked up by XSplit, so we'll skip it, that's fine. Yeah, um, lower quality streams, I would like to, but that's only available to Twitch partners, which I'm definitely not. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we'll just have to be stuck. It's at 720p, so um, I'm streaming at a pretty low bitrate, though, so if you have decent uh, internet connection, you should be able to handle it. I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy. Yeah, um... I'm, it's going to be kind of hard to like play and mod the chat at the same time, but you know, if you just like spam a bunch of Frank or Z faces or whatever, then you're probably going to get timed out or banned if it happens a lot. So, you know, I don't want to play the police here. I'd kind of rather just hang out. But um, it's, I mean, it's if you know, I, I don't hold anything against you, just kind of to uh, keep the peace of the chat and everything. I couldn't get anyone to mod. Um, I don't really. I mean, I guess I like could ask someone, but there's like not really anyone here I know that well. So we'll just, you know, it shouldn't be an issue. Um, I think most of the people here are civilized enough that we can, you know, just be fine with it. So okay, 
we're playing bully we're walking around the, the one issue i have with this the sound quality is a little low like if you hear the footsteps they're kind of like tinny uh, i guess it's just a, like it being an older game so you know what happens <laughs> well civilized in a uh, you know an in internet sense i guess Oh, jeez. <laughs> These people are mean. Like, I just told that other guy to kill himself already. Holy crap. That, that is part of the uh, the appeal to this game. It's just like, the people just have random insulting conversations with each other all over the place. It's very much a Rockstar game. Uh, you know, if you've ever played a Grand Theft Auto, you pretty much know that it's, uh, you know, they, they take humor in stride and everything, so. Yeah, these guys are mean. They really are. Ah, yes. So, you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I love the I giant know. fish above because the door, it's too. My calling. It's what I do. See, it's times like this when I know the scenes pretty well, I just look in the background for things. Like you, at making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy. Or I shall clean it myself. Or we'll clean it Mr. for Andrews, you. Are you back yet? <laughs> he does have a nose fetish. There's something yes, about this guy. Master. And I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. <laughs> With those big blocky fingers, man. Ah, old graphics. They've been kind of remastered, but, you know, it's still like an old PS2 game. Is it worth buying? Yes. <laughs> if you wanted a quick review, there you go. Um, you missed your chance over the Steam sale. I don't think it's cheaper anymore, but it was seriously like $3 over it. So, you know, it's really hard to say no that you shouldn't buy that, but... Yeah, like it still looks pretty good. I've also got, um, since my PC is halfway decent, I've got all the video options uh, like turned up as high as they'll go. We can't access them from here, uh, but you can specify like the amount of anti-aliasing and shadow quality and stuff like that. So it's nothing too big, but you know, I made it look as nice as I could at least. Unfortunately, like it doesn't look as good as it could because I have like really crappy internet upload speed. So it's like one megabit per second. You also have to combine that with the audio stuff. So, you know, the video is a little bit low, but, um, you know, it, it should still look okay. Oh, don't worry. We will be dressing up in our underwear at some point. That is definitely going to happen. Can access the world map. It's pretty large. Don't have access to most of it yet. Alright, I've also got prefects around. You can mess around a lot. Like, I'm pretty much just going, you know, like, straight to things. But you have access to basically all of your, uh, like, commands at this point. You can make fun of people. Oh, man, this, <laughs> this fat kid's trying to push me. And then you try to push him back and, you know, he runs away screaming. <laughs> and you can uh, see these guys are the bullies in the white shirts. And, yes, they can slip on banana peels as well. Uh, so we can grab this guy if we want and, you know, like, toss him in the trash can. That's always fun. And, yeah, there's uh, there's kind of a trouble system in this game. It's like the crime stuff of GTA. It's that little meter on the right that you can't quite see right now. But, you know, if you start punching people, you'll get a violence uh, thing on you. And prefects, those red dots on the map, will start looking for you. And, you know, they'll try to bust you if they can. It goes down over time, so...
Yeah, there are some things that'll like get you in massive trouble right away. Like if you punch adults or punch kids or like do anything with girls, um, like if you you know harass them or hit them or whatever, that'll pretty much just like max you out instantly. So, oh come on, I was totally blocking. So here's your very very fast combat tutorial. They just kind of throw button combinations at you, and that's all you need to know. Uh, so you know it's a pretty simple combat system, but. Uh, you know, it's no, like, Sleeping Dogs or Batman Arkham Asylum or anything like that, but, you know, I guess the job done for this game. Yeah, it's basically Grand Theft Auto in school and without, like, stealing any cars, so maybe the title isn't so apt, but... You're dead, new kid. Yeah, no killing. Uh, no hookers or anything, but there is kind of a similar system. We'll get to that. <laughs> yeah, combat system is basically just max mash X at people. Like basically, if you can do it in Grand Theft Auto, you can probably do it in this game, but like scaled down to school level. Yeah, what's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, you nearly set me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're going to need friends. Yeah, you'll, so you'll grow to love Gary, for sure. <laughs> or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? So now we have access to the dorms. Um, oh, oh man, burn there. Why is everyone named Gary a jerk? Pretty much. And of course they're graffitiing, uh, take that crap out of your hair, you greasy scum. That's in reference to uh, some of the clicks we'll find around the school. Of course, we're going to be interested to that soon. Uh, unfortunately, you can't play like poker or anything here. It looks like maybe they were like setting you up for that. Not too bad. And we can drink pop to restore your health. The funny thing about that is, though, you can drink water from this fountain over here, and it does absolutely nothing for your health. But, like, a big can of soda will just uh, completely, like, it'll heal you, like, half your health, maybe, something. You can pull fire alarms. You can steal fire extinguishers off the wall. It's pretty open-ended, all things considered. And, you know, spray it at people. Spray it at Gary. Oh, Gary wants to fight me? Is that what's... Yeah, he's actually in a fighting stance. I didn't know that could happen. Okay, well, let's just... Uh, I think if we go in here, it'll just, like, reset everyone, so... Uh, what systems... I'm honestly not sure. I think the Scholarship Edition got released on quite a lot of things. So, um, it should be pretty widely available. Hey. How you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Pete Jimmy Kowalski. Hoffman, don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes. Yeah, we in 360 sounds right. Also, obviously PC because I'm playing it on it. Well, welcome to PS3. Maybe, uh, probably is. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway. And of course, you can still, you know, get the original on uh, PS2 and Xbox, I believe. Hey man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the door. Oh, PSN got the original. Ladies and gentlemen, that works, I then. give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. <laughs> Poor Pete, man. Pete Kowalski. Have you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice <laughs> Pete, to Pete is awesome in a certain kind of way. There's a, a few graphical glitches here. I don't know if they'll come through on the stream, but there's like lines on people every now and then. Oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Yeah, like with a name like Kowalski, you think, you know, that sounds a little more like awesome than he actually is, but. 
Oh, still got the fire extinguisher. I guess I don't. I'm not sure how to drop it. I think yeah, there it is. You'd have to hit both the bumper buttons. I'm also playing this on a 360 controller, which is strange, because I don't own an Xbox or a 360. I literally just have it for PC games. So, okay, I think we're kind of given a little bit of free roam here. And of course, we can go to the next task. I don't think the gate to the outside is open yet, though. Nah, we're still locked in here. Oh man, there's the big guy, there's Russell. So we'll <laughs> we'll leave him alone for now, he'd pretty much wreck us at this point. And also, you know, like, random people will get in fights. So uh, it's kind of fun, it's one of those games you can have fun with literally just walking around. And wow, the scrawny guy is actually- oh, okay, never mind. Thought he was doing okay, but... Oh, and when, if I can find, uh, here we go, here's a chick. Uh, one of the funny things that I like is uh, listening to Jimmy's pickup lines, like, before you get any speech enhancements. And she's just, like, completely going off on him the whole time. I am looking at the chat. I don't know, what are you talking about? This is so bad. There's one in particular I want to hear. <laughs> that one's pretty good. This guy just like stole her book. What are you doing, man? Oh, <laughs> the prefect got him. Yeah, you can watch this too. Like the whole kind of crime system like applies to the NPCs too. Like, they'll try to get away from prefects, and, you know, those guys will chase them. They can get busted and everything, too. Yeah, You Like Uh Stuff is probably one of the best ones. There's still, there's one in particular. Yeah, you gotta apologize first. <laughs> oh, that's so pitiful. Oh, come on, just just say the one I want you to say. So, um, you're a girl, huh? <laughs> That's a good one too. He he literally he sounds like Pete here. <laughs> That's the one I wanted. <laughs> oh man, I've been uh, watching you. Hit on the, oh, I don't have to hit on the fat chick. We'll see the fat chick later on, don't worry. Oh. Well, they actually peacefully walked away. That doesn't happen often. Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, I've been watching you. It's so bad. I... Okay, so we get to... <laughs> we get to explore the school a bit. Oh, hey, I see Boy in a Barrel here. Cool. Yeah, they're gonna talk to you about apology. If you ever apologize in this game, you're doing it wrong, by the way. Like, if you pay to, like, apologize to someone and then still have them, like, give you a noogie afterwards, you are doing it so wrong. However, we get our revenge. We get to break into his locker, so that works. And lockpicking is super easy. You just, like, rotate until it tells you to stop. He's, like, a master lockpicker in this game. Uh, yeah, I have played this game before. I own it on the PS2, actually, but I, like, literally haven't played it since then. Ah, that sucks. But yeah, I mean, I haven't... Uh, I've beaten it. I've actually gotten 100% on it. Uh, it was a long time ago, though. Like, years ago. I haven't played it since then, so... Uh, it's on the... We talked about this earlier, but it's on the PS2. Uh, the original is, but this is... Yeah, this is the PC version. Uh, scholarship Edition. It's also available on, like, most of the uh, current generation consoles. So it's pretty widely available, actually. Oh, we're supposed to be hiding. Just hop in a trash can. 
And also to be able to see this well, I mean, like your uh, your head has to be very clearly sticking out, but I don't know how that works for hiding. Uh, from the Steam sale, I picked up Euro Truck Simulator 2, which is probably the biggest surprise. I didn't think I would get into that at all, but I've actually been playing it a bit. Um, let's see. Yeah, man, Euro Truck Sim. I, I didn't know like how relaxing it would be to just drive a truck down a road for an hour. Like when I was a kid, I used to ask my dad, like, why don't they make games about just regular driving? And now I found one. It's like my mind's been blown. Took my chocolate. So of course we get the chocolates back by going in the boys' restroom. And now th this is all basically just tutorial. It'll get more exciting later, but we can bully this guy. His <laughs> carry run like snake, maybe. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I'm pretty sure I got something else from the Steam sale. It might have... It couldn't have just been these two. Oh, I also got The Witcher 2. I've been playing through that. And uh, I'm still in the middle of it. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. But, you know, move on to something else for a little while. Stream for people. Playing bully and bullying. You have to bully the bullies in bully. Oh, here comes the fat chick. Ah, the sound effects, too, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, for uh, for Witcher 2, there's actually, there was like a full combat rebalance mod that came out that I'm actually playing it with. Um, just because I've actually seen a playthrough of like the original, but uh, like the full combat mod was actually made by like one of the developers, and it was just released, I think, a couple weeks or maybe like a month ago or so. So it's been kind of fun to play with. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. They're <laughs> I love that. They're actually sneaky bastards. And they really are, too. We'll see a lot more than Earth's later. Um, I don't really know about workshop support. I'm not super big into, like, modding the games. I just download stuff if it looks good. So, <laughs> that's about it. messing with it. At least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Uh, in terms of dress, I'll just probably change it as I see fit. I mean, I'm, I don't really have a plan for it or anything. I'm just hanging out, you know. Come on, let's go. You have the Fonz group, pretty much. Ooh, class time. That's always fun. That's gotten pretty lively in here. Nice. I didn't. I didn't expect a huge turnout, but nice. Good to see the chat scrolling regularly there. I like it. Uh, the class. I don't think the classes are randomized. I'm pretty sure they're like in a set order. If I'm remembering, English might be first. Chem. Actually, I think chemistry is first. It's also downstairs because I'm not paying attention at all. 110, huh? especially because this is the first time I've literally ever streamed, and I just put out an announcement like an hour ago. So, yeah, it is chemistry class first. What are you doing in here? Oh, right. As far as classes, there's uh, chemistry, art, English, shop, PE. Oh crap! I don't know the buttons. Okay, that was right. They're like I never use a 360 controller. Um, that's all I can remember. Like I said, I haven't played this game in, like, years, so I'm just going off the top of my head. Yeah, chemistry is super easy. It's probably the easiest class. New classes for scholarship. I'd love to see that. That'd be pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Who are you? Um, I have there's a link to my YouTube channel if you're into that kind of thing. But uh, apart from that, I'm not sure what else to tell you. I'm just a guy on the internet playing games. You tried to kick me. What the heck? Shut your mouth. 
Ooh, I also got firecrackers. Yeah, I can play with those. Uh, I'd rather, if you basically want to, like, play around with things, the best place to do it is um, probably in the dorm, because there's, like, never any prefects there. You can just do whatever you want. And I'm basically just killing time, because there's going to be another class, so, you know, we can just kind of mess around for a while. English class, um, if I remember, is you have, like, six letters that are scrambled, and you have to make, like, as many words as you can out of them. Uh, firecracker, let's see if I remember. Yeah, firecrackers are awesome. <laughs> They're, you know, you get a lot, you get kind of cooler stuff, but you can blow stuff up, man. That's pretty awesome. You can also, I think, toss it behind you as you're running. Yeah, to kind of, like, stop people up. Yeah, this is the point where the game is basically started. We're pretty much out of tutorial for the most part. Because we have our clock in the top left, so now it's like, you know, time is officially going. I think class starts at 1, so... Ah, we'll be fine. I'm, I'm not concerned about saving them. We can always make more from the chem set, I think, so it's not a huge deal. The auto shop class is broken in the PC version. That'll be fun. It was always a little picky, I remember, because you have to like rotate the stick, and like sometimes it would just fail you instantly. Yeah, we've got English class. This should be fun. It might actually be two of them knocks them out. I'm not sure, but it, uh, it is pretty strong. Yeah, like maybe not completely broken, but you know, I imagine it is pretty picky. It always was. Okay, time to do this. Oh man, that's <laughs> really sensitive with the control stick. Um, gonna be making words. I ex yeah, it's like I expect the chat to be just like flooded with words we can make here. Okay, I'm not paying attention. Uh, I know the six-letter word is mellow. That's right. I'm not looking at the chat, by the way. Just, just so, just so we're clear, I'm doing this on my own power. It's pretty easy. You don't have to get all of them to pass either. Uh, I got elms. Get low. Get quite a lot here. See, we've already passed, so I don't know if you can exit at this point or if that'll like fail you. Uh, did that not? I'm pretty sure meowl is a word. No, I guess not. Uh, oh, mule might be what I'm thinking of. Yeah, there we go. I know there's... I can just... I can feel you, like, yelling at me at the chat over there. But I, I'm not looking. I've already passed anyway, so realistically I could just sit here. Uh, mole is a word... See, I've got well already. Meow, whatever. I uh, this is the point. It's like all three letter words, so it's just like some random uh, comment. Is ol? Like, I like uh, not I guess English. not. Oh, I can do... I've already got that. I can actually, since I'm more than what's X, there you go. Good one. We got a lot of time. We might actually pull this one out. <laughs> this is it's just like there's a four letter. I should be able to get the four letter one, right? Let's just <laughs> start trying. I don't think that's in the dictionary. That has to be some sort of slang, yes? <laughs> he gets different uh, messages to Okay, I'm probably not going to get any more, but uh, that's fine. <laughs> L-O. <laughs> if only you could spell govna in that as well. Sorry, I know, uh, well done, <laughs> not, not to offend any, you know, British people here, but 
you know, we passed a long time ago and it went trade to be a Bobby or something like that. Now you can apologize more effectively, which is the least useful upgrade. Don't pick on me. <laughs> a, like, A is basically the sound pathetic button, and you're definitely doing it wrong. Straight up awesome. Done and done right. Done and done right. So at this point, classes are done for the day. Only two in a day. It's actually really nice. I wish regular school was like that, but that's fine. So I guess we can move on to the next task. And it's right here. The setup. You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense. That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? Wait, mention my nose. You didn't mention my nose. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up. Screw or did he? I wasn't actually listening that much. Teacher's pets around here. You better not slow. <laughs> come here, you little... Yeah, come and get me. Yeah, I don't think I have any firecrackers left. I'm pretty sure I wasted them all, but we can just do this the normal way. You can also sprint indefinitely, which is really nice. He actually runs over Petey there and he just loses all his papers. <laughs> That's something you'd miss if you weren't actually looking closely at that. But then it was actually Petey that he ran over. Stop blocking. Oh, actually, it wants me to stuff him in the trash bin. I guess we can do that. And then super fast door opening. <laughs> so that was always a really framey animation. Yeah, and like I said before, uh, combat is really easy. You lock onto people and then hit the X button a lot. And then they, they just completely go away. And trip as they fall. Uh, -uh. uh, yes, there is a mascot costume. It's actually used for a story quest. I remember that much. Hey, wait your turn, man. I'll beat up on you in a minute. I love being able to bully people afterwards, too. Yeah, notice you can't use the apologize function. You can't just... <laughs> it's completely worthless. Okay, it's time for the boss. I don't think we have... No, we are completely out of firecrackers, so we'll get to do this the normal way. Uh, you can use firecrackers to, just, firecrackers to just, like, completely take this guy out. I think it's two or three hits, so... Uh, otherwise, you just find stuff to throw at him. Pick it up. Oh, it's still only like three hits with regular stuff. That last brick did a lot of damage. <laughs> Trivia soon. Who do you think you're watching here? So I get the slingshot. Nice. With infinite ammo as well. So I don't know how they pull that off, but... I've also got Faction Respect, which, if I remember, is it's not like uh, a lot of games. Let's think we can... Do not know the controls here. There we go. Uh, respect. Yeah, you've got, like, the percentages and stuff for them, but I think most of that's, like, scripted. You'd end up just losing respect with one faction, and then you, like, beat the boss and gain it all back. So, you know, it's all exactly the same. So this is Greaser territory. They don't really care about us too much, so we can just run on by. Oh come on! Can you, oh, there, I guess there's a broken fence on the other side. It's like it's like open on the map though. <sighs> Fine, we'll go around. Yeah, like like at the end of the game, you have a hundred respect with everybody, no matter what you do. So and it's not worth worrying about at all. 
Also, yeah, I, I like the various games of tic-tac-toe. You can find people that are really bad, uh, like this one here that's just to my right. Like, literally, that guy won in just three moves. Like, he had two in a row, and the guy just didn't block him at all. A bunch of stupid people at this school. Uh, if you are lagging, it is not on my end. I've only dropped a total of 12 frames out of 63,000. So, you know, <laughs> do, the, do the math there. I think the ratio is all right. Uh, it's it's like a boarding school. I think it's supposed to be like a replacement for high school, pretty much. So, that's sixty three thousand more frames than I had before. So that's a good idea, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Sure. I'll do it. Hey, man. What's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean, my plan for us to take over the school. What plan? Don't worry, Jimmy. It's just a little something I came up with. It's sink or swim, my friend. And if you're good at swimming, you gotta let the losers drown. Why don't you guys leave the thinking up to me? What? <laughs> what? 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 Duh. <laughs> I've always Did loved the delivery on else? <laughs> you know what, Petey? You were right. Jimmy is pretty dumb. What'd you say about me? Oh, nothing. No, no, no. All I said was that you had to be pretty dumb to get expelled from so many schools. That's all. <laughs> Relax, James. All he said was that you must be dumb. Or maybe you're all messed up because you came from a broken home. What'd you say about me, dwarf? Come on, dude. <laughs> Chill. No, 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 no. Gary's taking everything out of context, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lie, Petey. This is like the most dysfunctional friendship I think I've ever seen, if you can even call it that. Uh, I'm not recording it like separately, but I will upload the uh, the Twitch recording, assuming I can figure all that out. Come on, Jimmy, let's go see how good you are with this new slingshot. Friendship, partnership, buddy ship. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. You and me, we can do things. He just called me a psychotic gimp. Like, uh, <laughs> I don't understand the relation there. You can punch him in this mission? Hey. Well, maybe once he stops or if I get in front of him. Ah. Oh, I'm definitely going to punch Gary in this mission. And he, he just takes it like a champ, right on the chin, or right on the chest, I guess. Ah, uh, freezing, yeah. I'm seeing a few dropped frames. I think the, uh, it looks like it's better now. Uh, it may happen every now and then. I mean, I live out in Kentucky, so we have, like, you know, the internet is carried here by, like, hamsters on wheels, so uh, it may just randomly slow down every now and then. Yeah. Even if I lower the quality, that'd still probably happen. Okay, we're going somewhere else. I thought there was a scene that happened there. I was just reading the chat and just sitting around. And it looks like it's getting ready to storm, doesn't it? That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Like, it gets dark around nighttime, but it's actually, like, really cloudy. Yeah, the music in this game is so good, and I love it. Uh, the, the theme I actually used for that little announcement video on YouTube was from this game as well, so... Yeah, uh, I paid extra to get the best hamsters, actually. They have racing numbers, like, shaved into their sides. So, you know, it makes them go faster. So oh, now we get to... Yeah, that's right. We get to shoot football players from a tree. That's always fun. Uh, the Red Stripes is actually the business package, so I'm... You know, it's not available for me. Aiming mode. There we go. Oh, wow. That aim's really slow. Can I change that? Controls, maybe? Uh, mouse sensitivity. I don't think that would do it. Eh, I guess it'll just be slow, then. If anything, it's really precise. 
see if we can lead this guy. Ah, oh, too bad. Oh man, I think I hit that guy right in the nuts. They have cut sign, right? They have athletic protectors. <laughs> the main goal to the game is just survive for the most part. You know, the story hasn't really happened yet, so uh, we're kind of still we're learning things a little bit. I passed. Yes. I was being graded on that. It's an extra credit assignment, I think. Yeah, at this point it's late. You can see the Z's on the map. Yeah, I mean the story is okay. It's it's not if you're looking for a true like novelistic, if that's that's not a word. Uh, if you <laughs> like a you know a true experience, a cinematic experience here, you're definitely in the wrong place. But you know it's fun, so that's really all that matters. Oh, that person really loves bunnies, by the way. See, we could probably get another task. Like, even though the clocks turn blue on the outside and, you know, the Z's are on the map, we still have, like, I think a couple hours before curfew hits anyway, so. Let's go ahead and get this one going. I think this is where we learn our first combat move, maybe? Go cry to the teacher. Tell them I was nasty to. Shut up, Gary. You're such a jerk, man. Oh, am I, Petey? Oh, you're so cutting. I'm really upset. Actually, I think I'm gonna go cry. Then I'd be just like you. Cry, little girl. Oh, look out. <laughs> I like the picture in the background, by the way. The guy with the devil orange strong on him. You're out of line. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was hanging out in the girl's dorm. Silly me. Shut up, man. You're boring. Boring? I'm boring. You're none too interested. Uh, in terms of like next streams, I don't have anything scheduled. This is just I decided to do it this afternoon. So, <laughs> you know, uh, we'll if we'll probably do it again. It's been pretty fun. So, um, you know, I'll get out details. Forgive me. Forget it. It's cool. Uh, I might get the scooter at some point, but I think that requires like grinding at the fair. So, if I remember, so, I don't know. I might not. <laughs> it might not be super entertaining. Yeah, I've played it before, but like five or six years ago. So you know, I have a pretty good memory of it. I'll give you a kiss if that's what you want. Shut up. Then come on. Why was my dad this is gonna be fun. Harassing some old homeless guy is fun. It is. <laughs> and you should be grateful you're not the victim for once. <laughs> I like the random conversation. Hey, Jimmy, tell me about this guy. Does he like to go in his own pants? I can't answer you, Gary. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, he's like, why was my father a librarian instead of a bank robber? Like, that's what you go for, bank robber? Really? Yeah, the homeless guy is fun. I think I'm taking a longer way around, but we can cut through here. Grab an apple and eat it, of course. Just right off the ground. That's totally sanitary. And yes, yeah, so we are going to mess with the homeless guy. Or we could just slowly walk into the bus. There we go. Uh, let's fight these guys. They're beating up Petey. Actually, I can't get out in there. Look at this. There's like six of these guys lined up to get in the bus. Are we going somewhere? I don't even know. Hey, hey Pete, could you like get out of the way so I could be... Okay, here's one. Yeah, this is like some kind of like Spartan stuff, I think. We're forcing him into a choke point, you know? Oh, yeah, I, I bullied that guy. Petey's probably gonna die. That would probably fail the mission. See, Gary is holding his own, though. Look at that. He took out one guy and he's still got a lot of health left. Oh, you can also tackle people if you like dash at them and grab. You're such a girl. 
And we can use <laughs> use the slingshot on Gary. Why not? Oh man, I did a lot of damage and knocked him down. <laughs> okay, well then, now that that happened, emergent gameplay, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, Petey's the final boss. Spoilers, everyone. Sorry. Where is this dirty old perv? You know, you're not very nice, Gary. And you're a loser, Petey. One of life's unfortunates. Good night, Whoa, you old scum. <laughs> so I guess the rumors are true, Jimmy. Your dad does live on this. You jerk! Ow! Let's leave this guy to his welfare payments. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> and of course, Gary's the wimp and runs away. Because otherwise, I'll kill you. What's your problem? <laughs> That's a long story. <laughs> You he didn't say unicorn. No, I'm 15. Well, what about drugs? No. Then why shouldn't I kill you? All right then, tough guy. Kill me. <laughs> you know what, kid? I like your style. You got guts. When I was on that ridge in Korea, watching my buddies get Is the chat being filtered, by the way? It looks like swear words are being yeah. cut out. Thanks. I bet you can't. I would figure out how to change that, because, you know, favor, screw that, but. And I'll show you some real oh, well. moves. Classified moves. We yeah, I, th I think it has, like, a, a built in, like, set of words that it bans, so I might have to disable that. What, like how to get shot by your own side? Exactly. It may be, like, a personal. Like, I may just not have changed something on my end, that someone's seeing it filtered, I don't know. So, uh, of all things, we have to bring this guy radio transistors. That's probably, like, the most random collectible you could, <laughs> like, realistically come up with, you know? And there also just so happens to be a radio transistor up on the roof. I don't really know how that happened, but fine. I can use that. Sitting nice and neat in the middle as well. We just jump off the roof and we're fun. Oh. Greasers don't normally pick on you, but that's... I don't want to mess with them yet. Like, some of the clicks are slightly harder to fight. The greasers are, like, not that bad, but... Uh, if you get, like, the preps or the jocks, they... Like, the preps are boxers, so they can, like, seriously mess you up sometimes. And the jocks are pretty much just tough and big. So we learned the uppercut. I don't really use the uppercut a lot, I don't think. Alright, at this point it's getting late. I don't think this doesn't even look like our next task is available yet. Yeah, there are currently no tasks available. It's probably a like a time of day thing. See, I haven't have I picked up any marbles yet? No, I, I don't have hardly anything. <laughs> yeah, egg the fence. That's oh man, you you're a bad man. <laughs> Egging the fence of the dorm. So yeah, people just kind of hang out. Cur yeah, curfew begins at 11. Uh, if you're out after that, they'll try to catch you and take you back. Uh, you actually, like, if you stay awake too long, you'll just fall asleep wherever you are. I think it's like 1 in the morning or something. The music gets all funky. Oh, yeah, the fire alarm. You get, this, uh, someone mentioned this in the chat, like, a while back. And uh, this is something I used to do from time to time as well. Just pull the fire alarm and then immediately run in here and go to bed. <laughs> Just for the while everyone else is running outside, you get to sleep. There's something else. There's one other thing that I like really want to do with the fire alarm, but I need like the marbles item to do it, and I don't have any of those, so I'll have to look around. You can usually find stuff just laying around. I think you get marbles as part of the story anyway, but that doesn't come till a lot later. Oh, look at this dude in his pajamas. We have pajamas, too. Um, in fact, we have a couple outfits. Yeah, the pajamas. Which <laughs> serve no purpose. I mean, if you try to go out like this, you'll be busted for uh, 
um, for violating the uniform code. So, eh, just go back to the school uniform for now. Uh, you can also just go to your undershirt, go to your tidy whities and go to the socks, and just run around like this for a while if you want. You can even run around outside on campus if you'd like. Favorite holiday? I don't really remember the holidays too well. Like Halloween is the one I remember the most. Like I guess because it's early on. Uh, in fact, actually, let's uh, let's run into the girls' dorm with this. We'll be trespassing and violating the dress code at the same time. God, yeah, should I, can you? Like I don't think they'll kick you out. They might kick you out if you go to class like in the wrong dress code. Uh, but I'm not sure. In fact, let's uh, let's tease this old lady. She doesn't know what to do. She is stricken with fear at the sight of Jimmy Hopkins and his tidy whities you know <laughs> I think Jimmy summed it up. Oh wow, I've got other people after me. All the ladies are chasing me in my underwear. There's gotta be, there's something terribly wrong with this picture. How do I get out? Ah, let me go. Oh, I got busted. Yeah, I was, the meter was too high. If it's low enough, you can break out, but uh, it was like maxed out. So they just bust you instantly. Oh, they actually brought me to class in my underwear. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Miss Phillips, and it is my pleasure to induct you into the world of arts. Okay, so art class is like, um, what was that game? Like, Quix? Q-I-X, I think it was? It's hard to explain without just doing it, but you kind of have to, like, make lines without getting hit by the floating obstacles and, like, claim as much of the canvas as you can. Didn't quite mean to make that little nook there. And there's also like special power-ups you can get, but they're not really necessary. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, this is art. Um, you know, we did this all the time when I was in art class in school. We just played quicks all day, so. <laughs> this, this game is so much better just running around in your underwear. Is it bad? I feel a little dirty streaming this, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Hopkins, is dominating. Hopkins is dominating in his underwear. Usually they'll laugh at you. Uh, well, depends on your definition, lady. Oh man, that was bad. I apologize. Okay, anyway, let's, uh, bad things are happening on account of this outfit, so let's, uh, let's go back and change that. <laughs> oh, okay. Things have gone a little off the rails. We'll, we'll recover. We also get extra health, you know, game mechanics, if you, <laughs> if you want to talk about that. Uh, we get extra health for kissing girls, so... The outfit has changed me. It definitely has. So that's good. I think did we pick up a hat? Yeah, we picked up a hat. So let's put on the hat. He wears it kind of sideways, because that's just how Jimmy Hopkins rolls, I guess. I usually just like there's a task available, but you know, class starts in what like 20 seconds, you know, however that translates. So I don't know. Yeah, I haven't been dropping any more frames, so stream should be looking okay. Assuming your internet connection's fine, so <laughs> not a lot I can help you with on, on my end here. Oh yeah, the store. Uh, we could do that. We still have like half an hour before uh, you have to get to class after it starts anyway. See, I think the store is over here. This, Yeah, this thing. Like, is there a hat that he just wears at a normal angle? Like, that, okay, that one's kind of crooked to the left. That one is, well, it's a visor. It's not a normal hat. Uh, wow, he wears the visor backwards. Oh, man. And slightly to the right as well. Can I just have a normal hat on straight and be an upstanding student? Uh, let's go with one. Let's go with the backwards visor. And let's see. 
I think there's a problem with his head. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, he was just dropped on it a lot as a kid, and, you know, it just got all lumpy up there. Football jersey, basketball jersey. Under 47, cool. I was expecting to have about a dozen people out here. Uh, team zip up. It's quite a lot of shirts. Ooh, astronomy club. Yeah, this is the nerd outfit. You kind of have outfits based on, like, each of the uh, different cliques. And all of these count as, like, a school uniform. Like, I think as long as it has the Bullworth logo on it. Uh, let's see. How about we ally with the nerds, what do you say? Astronomy club. Yeah, the astronomy club. I like astronomy. We'll go with them. Do I buy the hat? No. Okay. You can also buy sweatbands, which we don't need. School slacks. Gym pants. There we go. Can you get some really not matching outfits. Yeah, and you can still... I mean, money is not an issue. These things cost like a few bucks, and I've got like 50, and you get money all over the place, so who cares? Gym shorts with our astronomy vest. Let's just go with the slacks. Oh, wow, the green actually matches, too. That looks nice. Uh, in fact... Let's see... Oh, there we go. Let's get the school shorts with that. And the dress shoes. Buy outfit. Cool. Alright, so we're now styling and ready to go. We are definitely... Camera? Hello? <laughs> Camera? Okay, there we go. We are definitely not going to get beat up with this. Yes, I mean, uh, I am very into the modern chic styles and everything. So, you know, this is totally going to get us... Like, we don't even need to get speech upgrades to make out with girls now. They're just going to pretty much flock to us. Oh, it's gym class. Cool. I think my favorite part is, like, the, the shirt with the dress shoes and, like, the socks sticking up. Uh, not the shirt, the shorts, rather. Oh, yeah, now I'm truant because I'm... Uh, class is starting. No, I'm not going to pick up all the rubber bands. I saw one there, <laughs> just as you said that, but... Uh, there's, what, like, 75 of them or something, and then there's G&G &G cards, and there's all kinds of other stuff as well, so, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's just way too much to worry about collecting. All right, Rich, it's time for some wrestling. wrestling instruction, all right. They brought out cheerleaders for wrestling, and a guy with a baseball bat back there, I don't know what he's doing. It's some kind of, it's probably just an outfit, like maybe a ninja suit or something. There's various color ninja suits in this game. Well, you might die from those vicious headbutts I'm giving you. And yes, this is a school gym class, by the way. Just, you know. Oh, didn't hold it. And his name is literally Fatty. I mean, like, you're setting this kid up for a complete, you know, he's not going to have a life of success, I'll tell you that much. Now, in my PE class, we just ran a lot. It sucked. Although, I don't know, probably, <laughs> it probably wouldn't be much better just headbutting everyone into the ground. So, I don't know. Okay, class is over. Time to get back to our scheduled tasks in our awesome outfit. Netball? Netball, is that a, is that a British name for something? I don't want to see any. Dodgeball, we did dodgeball a lot. Uh, then we'd always have uh, like 15 minutes or so at the end of class where you just get to do, uh, it's like girls basketball over here. Okay, cool. Um, you have like 15 minutes where you get to do whatever you want, and we do like ping pong or basketball or, you know, if you wanted to get out the lacrosse sticks. We played lacrosse in PE. We were a very cultured, uh, <laughs> very cultured high school, I guess. I don't know. Dodge so, Rock. Uh, you're the new kid, huh? School's on a budget, I guess. Talking about you? Oh, are they? And what are they saying? Uh, nothing. Just that you're friends with that sociopath Gary. Socio what? Sociopath. Socio what? Means Never mind. Forget I said anything. I need you to help me. Wait. 
You need me to help you? I've got some library books that need to be returned. We did badminton every now and then. I was actually okay at badminton. Like librarian. No, listen. I need your help. Oh yeah, this guy also cannot zip. Friends. He's got two short shorts. Okay? <laughs> I'll pay you two bucks. Two bucks? Are you crazy? Make it five. rugby? And that seems a little rough for for school PE. Great. Five bucks. Let's go, buddy. Uh huh. Do you have a Prince Algae in a can? Is that what we're going for here? Oh yeah, we're supposed to be escorting him. I guess I should run away. The music here is the best, also, by the way. Hey man, don't beat him up. I think this is like Algernon's like special theme. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> I love it. It plays with basically like any mission you have with him. Stand watch, dude. You're not at the bathroom yet. You can't just. Well, I guess you could go on him if you really wanted, but that probably wouldn't be appropriate. <laughs> no, that you don't have to get flowers for Algernon later. Oh, I could have wedgied that guy. Oh man, this guy's going to town. Yeah. Oh man, gut punch. That was bad. <laughs> I'm surprised at the amount of flowers for Algernon jokes being made in the... The only reason I know that is because we read it in English class. Like, <laughs> I don't even remember too much about it, but nice. Yeah, this is the new Batman game. Uh, I got a pre-release copy. It goes through Bruce Wayne's Tales of High School, where he was called Jimmy Hopkins by everyone. I think we're almost there. We get, we've got a time limit, but it's like still at sixty-six percent or so. Can't you get like a prefect to stand watch, like when they make sure you don't get bullied or something? All right, come on. Do I have to walk in the bathroom with you? Um. <laughs> I will not ask what's going on here. I gotta keep it clear, so hey. Oh, and of course now the prefects are on me as well, so. I could not hide in the locker. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna run around in circles until they the guy leaves me alone. Oh, he actually lost me too. He clearly saw me go in there. Oh, there we go. Ah, guy hidden from behind. Oh, cool. The nerd's gonna help me. Probably because I'm wearing his outfit, I think. <laughs> Actually, that might just be a normal student. Actually, no, that is definitely a nerd. It's a really loud toilet, man. The warriors from PS. Oh, man, that dude can write super fast. Check that out. I oh I own. That's an I. I only like rich people because my parents are judgmental capitalist scum. All right then. That's probably the most like intelligent sounding graffiti I think I've ever heard. So yeah, like I said before, you get respect values, but it really doesn't matter at all. Alright, let's pick some lockers. There's gotta be some around. Ooh, cola just sitting on the floor. No one gonna grab that? Dude, I'm picking a locker. Leave me alone. Well, it's five dollars in like, uh, you know, whatever high school currency translates to. This 
probably his locker. Well, he should have thought about that before having a locker. Yeah, there's a respect value for the bullies. The first chapter is actually their chapter. Uh, at the end of it, you'll get. I think you can just get to 100% at the end of this chapter with it. Oh man, two tasks. I, I'm literally being torn in two directions. I think this one's in the girls' dorm. Uh, this one's pretty funny if I remember, so we'll go to that one. Oh, that girl's actually important later. Uh, it's funny because you see, uh, you see chicks in the game that like end up being semi-main characters, like really strong supporting characters later that are like really involved in the uh, in the story. Unfortunately for you, my pig ugly friend, that is exactly what I can do. In fact, I can do anything I like in this place. Anything at all. Chow spotty. Get it back. And you should stay out of the girl's dorm, you little perv. I see Just kind of standing around. Like, I mean, Jimmy overall is kind of creepy, you know, telling that girl he was, uh, he was watching her and everything and now just hanging out in the girl's dorm around the corner of doors. Med school now I won't find the cure for cancer basically the future of the whole world you find the cure else. for that cold What's sore first me? well if you get them back I'll I'll kiss you oh uh, that's okay oh uh, okay but if you don't I'll tell the whole school you're some kind of sad sicko who spies on girls getting changed in their dorm relax the bad thing is that's probably true like based on what I've seen so far That's Gary's prize suggestion. You should put a stink bomb in there. I'll push you if I want, Gary. This mission, it's not so bad. I mean, you basically just get a stink bomb and run to the gym, but, you know, that's about it. The, the ending part is pretty cool, especially once you actually uh, get into the next one after this. I think I like it a lot better. Uh, people just kind of randomly change heights in this game. You know, it just it happens that way sometimes. Jimmy is usually way shorter than everyone else, but, you know, occasionally he kind of stays at other people's heights. So, uh, I don't know. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it's just second nature. Sorry, I really didn't. Okay, well, I got the stink bombs anyway, so I guess that works. <laughs> I literally wasn't even thinking. I just went ahead and bullied that guy. GTA 5, I'm probably going to play it when it comes out. Uh, don't ask about videos or streams or anything, but, you know. Uh, GTA 4, I liked quite a lot. And I liked the uh, trailer that I saw, the gameplay trailer that came out with for GTA 5. So, I will be looking into that. <laughs> what are you doing? I mean, if you're playing, I mean, you're playing Bully. You know, it's like, what are you going to do at a game called Bully? I really? Oh, I got spotted. I'll probably get tattled on, but I should be able to get done with this. Come on, pick it. Can I get out of here before I'm caught? No. Okay, well. <laughs> okay, this mission might actually be screwed, because she might run away. I can't... Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to happen. But, uh, we'll get away from this guy and see how it works. Actually, it might not even matter. Like, I'm pretty sure I can just leave and that'll be it. But usually, if, like, if you don't get caught uh, in the middle of that, she'll, like, open her locker and then the stink bomb will go off and she'll start, like, throwing up in the toilet. I, I mean, that, isn't, that wasn't, like, a mission-breaking thing. It's just kind of, you know, you don't get to see the whole thing, but it works still. Yeah, like, she she is more powerful than that prefect was. Like, I got away from him, but she just did one little knee, and I was on the ground. Let's eat an apple. You get a very slight amount of health from that. So what's this? A carton of eggs. Cool, we can use those later. Here you go. Oh, Jimmy, thank you. You're wonderful. Hey. <laughs> Jimmy's response to that was, hey. And Beatrice likes us. Hey, look, it's Shadow Zack. So, 
eggs. Yeah, we can egg. We have a lot of eggs. We got like a full carton. You can throw it at the... I think this is a crime. Uh, it might not be. There's like an errand you can run for someone to egg the dorm. But, you know, you can do it for fun as well. Actually, uh, no, she says later she's not contagious. Throw them at Beatrice. Where's Beatrice? Get out of... How do I... There we go. Oh, there you are. Hi, Beatrice. Oh, man. I missed with the last one. Could egg the fence. Yeah, because that's what, you know, that's what the greasers do. So that's got to be what the cool kids do. Firstly, my cold sores are totally acting up again. Ew, gross. Secondly... Mr. Hatrick saw me writing in my diary during class, and he took it and he loved By the way, did you get that egg off in like the five seconds after I hit you with it? Tomorrow. If anyone sees what's in there, I will just die. It's really personal. Yeah, well, nothing like having Bobby the whole school know your deepest secrets. It makes your teenage years go by in a flash. Yeah, well, you'll soon find out. Me? Why? In the diary, I talk a lot about you and me. What? There is no you and me. Yeah, yeah, there is. See, first you rescued my notes from Mandy, and then we fell in love, and oh, you brought me flowers, what? and wrote me poetry, and showed this kinder, sensitive side that soon the whole world is going to know about. We're like doomed lovers. Enough. Okay. I'll yeah, get she, your book she's gotten way over the top. Like, we literally just helped her out, like, maybe an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, and she's like already wrote all of this stuff and lost the diary at the same time. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. Yeah, so th this is the better mission because you can, I think you can actually read the diary when you get it. So that's way more fun. You also get to sneak into the school at night. If you try to go in there, it's always, it's trespassing, but you know, not that it matters. Oh, we got to hit on girls some more. Oh, you actually can now. That's right. I forgot. You can't really do that after you get the speech upgrade. Oh, it's too bad. We didn't get through all of them. There's a surprisingly large amount of number, uh, a large number of terrible pickup lines. <laughs> like hit on with eggs. It's probably the worst way to hit on someone with eggs. Oh, just walk towards the window a bit. This music's also really good. I don't know if it continues in here or not. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fair, I guess. We'll just go like straight into a, uh, a prefect there. They're really easy to outrun. They also get tired if you just keep sprinting for a while. I feel a bit like Solid Snake. Can we can we like crouch in here? No, oh, too bad. Try, uh, this is the math room. It's locked. Staff room is downstairs, of course. Let's see. I can't, I can't really think of any of the other, like, pickup lines off the top of my head that we didn't get to. But, uh, <laughs> there's a whole lot of good ones. He's just completely awful with girls. Staff room. I think the only time you get to come in the staff room. Nothing of interest in here, though. Uh, you can't hide uh, naked dead bodies in there, like kernels and stuff like that, but uh, you can actually stuff people in them. Told Bucky. Oh, I didn't see this. Such a great friend. He I walked by him today, and he looked at me. He's such a free radical. How I'd love to pair his electrons. The whole thought of us making sweet organic chemistry just sends shivers down my spine. Uh-huh. And we can't turn the page. No, too bad. That's it. <laughs> really, there's not a lot incriminating about Jimmy in there. Like, I mean, everyone would pretty much just think Beatrice is a freak. So I don't know why he's so concerned, but... Fifty Shades of Jimmy. I wish you could turn the page and there was just like 20 more of exactly the same type of thing. Yeah, you have a point. The school probably would just run with it.
Fit. I'm not actually sure of the age of everyone here. I mean, I guess it is high school age, so they are probably that young. That's it. But I mean, to be mentioning electron pairing, you know, that's that's pretty advanced stuff. I'm a little impressed. All right, it's after ten, so it's probably time for the next day. Not that the curfew matters that much. He said he's 15? Okay, well, <laughs> I, I don't pay, uh, okay, he said it to the homeless man. I don't pay super close attention to all the dialogue. Defend Bucky. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that in the morning. I'm, I'm still holding, I'm just running around with this egg, and it's like kind of golden. Also, I hear something really weird in the background, but not before we forget. <laughs> Let's stop. Oh, I guess it's automatic. Oh, we're gonna learn about errands. These are completely worthless. Yeah, you know, I get. But Jimmy like just kind of makes out with everyone he can. Um, <laughs> I don't know if there's some underlying issue going on there. But literally anyone who wants to kiss him, he was. He's pretty much up for it. Yeah, we got errands. We have to take Peter's package to Beatrice. I wish I could open it. But... <laughs> K pasa. Man, everyone is being really friendly. I've, like, beat up all these guys and shoved them in trash cans. Hey, what's going on? How's it been? Is Beatrice cheating on us? I think that's what's going on here. You know that, see, like, about that box? This is this side up. I wish it was upside down. That would have been better. Yeah, you can also pick flowers, I think, in front of the dorm here. You can use those to, like, give to girls to make them kiss you. Because all you have to do is just give them uh, give them flowers, and they'll pretty much be up for whatever. Slip. Slip on it. Yeah! Awesome. Hey, don't... Don't pick on the girl, man. Give him a wedgie. Yes. Oh, cool. We want to fight. Let's do it. Everyone is probably playing this game because it was, like, last week it was $3 on Steam. So, <laughs> there's probably a good reason. Yeah, we're not still in trouble. Class should start soon. we got a save book up here. I guess we could do that before, you know, something crashes and I lose all my progress. Not too bad. Okay, what class is it this time? It's up here. Biology class. That is not one that I remember. Hello, children. I think they they definitely they had to add classes for this then, right? You all have strong stomachs. Okay, complete the ooh dissection. That sounds fun. We did a few dissections when I was in. Okay, use pins to secure the frog. Pins. Pretty nice tune for this. Scalpel. And then just hold it, I guess, and like, there we go. Take oh. your time, boy. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just slicing this poor frog to pieces. A little more accurate this time. Oh. <laughs> I missed a spot, but that works. Uh, sorry, I do not know who that is. So <laughs> I guess I guess the answer is no. The, kill the fro the frog is already dead. I mean, we're kind of dissecting it here, so it's it's a little late for that. I think. I'm kind of interested as to like what the rest of them are, because you know, like frog is pretty normal. Like most biology classes with dissections will do that. Heart. 
I think the music just stopped. So <laughs> there's that. Now we get to hear all the gross, mushy sounds of uh, by the stomach. We get to hear all the gross sounds of cutting apart a frog's organs, you know. <laughs> but you didn't expect this when you came to the stream today, did you? Uh, Skies of Arcadia. It's hard to read the chat and do this at the same time because it requires accuracy. Uh, Skies of Arcadia sequel. I've not heard anything about that, so. Would be cool. I'd definitely check it out. Remove the stomach. This is like the best dissection. I mean, when we did this in school, because we dissected a few things in biology class. I didn't find the intestines. Like, when we dissected things in school, like, we pretty much just, like, you know, cut everything to pieces. There was no carefully slicing, uh, you know, these organs out and putting them on trays and stuff. Uh, the first thing we ever dissected was, I think, in... Uh, it was at some point in elementary school, actually, a science class, we dissected an owl pellet, which is as gross as it sounds, because you just, like, find all the remains of what it ate. Uh, I dissected a frog once. Um, we dissected a fetal pig once, which a few people set out for because it was just a little too real for them. Hey, Rob's here. <laughs> I'm done. I know I'm your favorite. You don't have to tell me. Escort to the library. No, thank you. Just for money, anyway. A pig fetus, yes. Uh, it was really surprising. Like, none of us were expecting it. It was, uh, <laughs> like... Yeah, you get, oh, I didn't see, yeah, you got a shirt for the reward, I guess. Because, you know, like, this class, I'm pretty sure, was added in the scholarship edition, so they couldn't give you, like, a real, you know, functional reward, so they probably just give you uh, cosmetic stuff. Let's see, what I got, I got a shirt? I'm not sure which one. Oh, well, I wouldn't be here anyway, it'd be in my, it'd be in my closet back in the dorm. But yeah, like a lot of people set that one out because it was it was a little bit creepy. I won't lie, because you could definitely tell that it was a baby pig they were cutting open. So uh, it was it was a little strange, but interesting at the same time. Got a muscle shirt. Ooh, that should be fun. I don't know though. I kind of like the outfit we got going on. You know, the shark. You dissected a shark in school. That's like the most awesome thing I think I've ever heard. Muscle shirt. Oh, oh wow, check that out. That's awesome. We are definitely... I don't, actually, this probably isn't a uh, school uniform. I might get busted for that. But we are definitely wearing this around. They're, they're all laughing at me, too. Man, you all, you all got to dissect, like, so many awesome things. That was basically the extent of my dissection experience. And deleted link. Yeah, oh look, it's you don't you don't usually see this guy very often, the janitor walking around. Dissect a whale. Somehow I'm I'm not entirely sure I believe you on that one. Although that would be extremely interesting as to how they actually got that to work. Yeah, and I don't think I'm getting busted for school uniforms, so I should be able to just wear this around. Oh he he just called me grandpa something. Cats to dissect. Like, that'd be a little weird. Uh, home ec? Music class. Oh, all right. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Ms. They're introducing, like, a lot of new teachers, too. Like, most of the teachers get involved in the story at some point, but I've never seen her before. Play along with the song. Stay on time to pass your class. So this is literally just, like, DDR Guitar Hero in bully form. Oh man, this is the most awesome thing. Oh boy. School band, alright. <laughs> Actually, they're, they're not too bad. Some of them are out of tune. So anyway, if any of y'all have a fever, I've got the prescription for you right here. Yes, the joke had to be made. Can I play the tuba instead? I'd rather do that. See, what I find funny about this is like everyone else is playing like horns and you know like hitting cymbals together. We're just hitting a cowbell here. Man, this is long. <laughs> I didn't expect this to go on this long. 
The recorder, yes, I learned the recorder. I probably still have mine back in my house, like up in an attic somewhere. Like the first day everyone tried to play it, it was really bad because they just like blew as hard as they could into it. And it was just like, you know, it made that awful screeching sound, like that one frequency that just makes you want to like claw your ears out or something. Two drumsticks is proper form. 99%. Oh, I didn't. I didn't FC that, man. I'm gonna have to go back and re-record. I'll fix that in. I'll fix that in editing, though. Don't worry. I also got a. Sh I did, again did not see what the reward was. So someone will. Maracas. That's on. It's the same thing, though. Like it's just two things that you shake. Like it's the same mechanic. I was hoping they'd like expand the buttons a bit. Pink keyboard shirt. Wait, wait. I've got to see this. You should, someone just said that shirt is... You think this shirt is awful. I'm about to get a pink keyboard shirt. Uh, how much for the game now? I'm not sure. Um, at $3, I think it was like 85% off. So it may be like 15 or 20 or something. I'm too, <laughs> it's late at night to do math right now. Hello, everyone coming in. I'm seeing a few hays in there. Welcome to the stream. It's cool, I'm doing this for the first time. Hope y'all are enjoying it. Let's see, upper body, music key shirt. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, this this almost completes the look. I need some kind of silly hat, and that would basically complete the look, I think. 173. I was expecting, like, honestly, my highest expectations were like to fill a classroom, which is why I made that classroom mark like in the chat before the stream. So, uh, oh, the mission marker is in here. That's what happens when you start talking, you stop paying attention. I've probably been getting comments left and right, like I have my little email notifier thing completely disabled, so I'm sure I'll have a lot on that video about the live stream. Yes, this is the first ever live stream for me. Not like in history or anything, obviously, but... Ooh, what's he watching? Swim team? tell me, Petey, do you like watching the girls in their swimming costumes? Does that fuel your filthy little... Let's see, yeah, I mean, uh, trying to think of a common figure that, like, 180 people would fill up. Or, wait... There, there's, like, places online you can go to see, like, you can visualize a certain number of people. So that's pretty cool. along as usual. I'm just toughing him up. Turn him into a man or a woman or... I'll probably do more. Uh, I wasn't sure going in. This is just kind of an experiment, like, you know, th throw caution to the wind, just do something different for a change, but uh, it's been a lot of fun, so, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have to do this again sometime. I'll probably keep going for, I don't know, maybe like another half hour to an hour or so, because it's getting, you know, in an hour it'll be 10 o'clock, so that's, <laughs> that's kind of my unwind time at that point. Please, I'll pay. I say do it. It's a oh, good I chance. Text message. Who's in charge around here? Now run along. Thank you, Rob, for interrupting my stream. I enjoy it a lot. Yes. <laughs> We've got to take care of Russell and his boys. Then, after that, take care of all the other clicks. Soon, this school will be. <laughs> well, probably the reason there are more in the stream than saw the YouTube uploads because I announced it on Twitter and Facebook like hours ago. So. I'm, I'm central time, so it's uh, it's close to nine o'clock right now. Like it's close to nine o'clock, but if you drive about like ten minutes to the east from here, it's it's actually you know an hour later. So I don't know exactly how that works. Like, yeah, I I know about time zones and everything, but <laughs> it's just weird that you can like go ten minutes and lose an hour somewhere. Arizona has their own time zone. I always thought places should get like uh, time zones that are like half an hour ahead or something just to screw with people. Uh, most of Kentucky, actually it's it's split just about down the middle. Uh, my hometown is in Eastern and it's about an hour away. I get that guy's bat. There we go, yeah this will definitely help. He uses the bat, like, really strangely, though. I guess it kind of makes sense with his pink shirt, but, you know. <laughs> he just kind of, like, slowly hits them, like, in the same spot over and over. Newfoundland is on the half hour. That's interesting. Like, that would be a nightmare to try to coordinate things with people, like, in different time zones. 
Just subtract like 20 minutes, and that's about where I'm at. They got the bet. Oh, I lost it. Okay, we'll just grab him then. GMT, yeah. The center of the time world, I guess. Oh yeah, I haven't been paying attention to Bucky at all. I don't know if he's getting hurt or what. Oh, he's just cowering in a corner. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> he like freaked out for a minute there. Alright, don't need health. Oh. Ow. <laughs> that looked really painful, actually. It can be kind of annoying when people, like, get behind you and just start surrounding you and attack you all at once. What motivates me to do LPing? It's fun. That's, uh... <laughs> it's fun. I mean, I have fun with it, so... Skateboard. I never used... I never used the skateboard much. I didn't find it much faster than running. Maybe something's changed since then. How long am I playing on streaming? Um... Maybe like half an hour to an hour more, and that'll be that'll be good. Violent crazy old man on campus. <laughs> Violent crazy. I love that shirt. I love the additions, like the crazy uh, outfits in this, because they they were not in the original one. So, <laughs> I mean, there were some crazy ones you could get, but like this shirt was pretty much definitely not. I wonder what if that's actually a song, like on the on the musical score there. That'd be interesting. Oh, cool. Yeah, we're on the skateboard. Remember, the, yeah, you can ollie on it. It's, it's no Tony Hawk, I'll give you that much. Can't do kick flips or grinds or special tricks. Turning's a little strange. See, like, to me, it just, this doesn't feel much faster than sprinting. So, I don't know. And, and like, you have a very strange turn radius. So I tend to just get off the skateboard most of the time. See the shirt. Well, you got a close-up of it earlier, but... Ugh, this camera... That's probably about as good as I can give you. The lighting's weird. Let's see if we can get over here. <laughs> Even it, when Algernon is laughing at your shirt, you know. Oh, there we go. That's probably as good a view as I can give you if Jimmy will move his arms. Uh, assuming that's Clef, that's Treble, Treble Clef? Wow, that was hard to say. I uh, see an upper C. Man, I'm rusty at the C, G, D... Something after that, I can't quite tell. Under a GEs, I don't know. I can't. I can't pick up. I can't pick up any side from any song from that. Oh, the school closes at seven. Got to get out. We're trespassing, but so is everyone else. This is a fun time if there's other students in the school because the prefects will just be busting everyone they see. Yeah, it would be kind of annoying to play because like it jumps around everywhere. Okay. Well, there are. No tasks available, so I guess <laughs> I guess we're done for the day then. The dark side. This this isn't so dark. Live streams. We're hanging out. We're having fun. Oh man, I see the decorations. I think Halloween's about to start, so that may be why there's no more tasks left. Anyone else hear a mouse? Like, I'm pretty sure that's what that was. Do I have any marbles yet? I still don't have any marbles. I have to get marbles before we finish the stream tonight. No editing is a dark side. You know what? I will give you that one, actually. Uh, it's going to be nice to just finish... Oh, there was like... There's a rat in here. Chase it around. Can I kick it? No. <laughs> I tried to tackle it, though. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be nice to just have the recorded video and say, uh, hey, uh, we're just gonna upload this straight up and not have to do anything with it. It is the fun side. Editing is the single most time-consuming process. It's like, for me, at least, it's like twice the video length any time, so it's, it takes a while sometimes. A remake, not quite as interested then, for Skies of Arcadia, that is. Because I have the original, don't really need a remake. Okay, I guess Halloween isn't starting. I mean, it's just, it might just be, uh, like, coming up soon, so they're starting to decorate. Come on, bust that guy. <laughs> the adults in this game have a habit of just, like, standing in place. Oh, they tripped on marbles. Is there a dude with marbles here that I can steal them from? I 
I uh, Nosgard. Is that if Nos Nosgard? Whatever you want to say. Um, you had the avatar that was Ocelot from MGS3, right? I'm pretty sure. I re I, I remember seeing that. that. That's like what I associate with it. Yes, you did. Okay, good. I'm not going crazy. It's just one of those things where you know, like you just remember a name and a picture, and that's just like stuck together with me now. A remake of a remake. Well. I mean, if it's a remake of, like, the original Dreamcast game, then I guess not. If it was, like, a remake of Legends, then, yeah, it would be a remake of a remake. I do not know Elevation, apparently. Let's jump off there. Grandia 2. Oh, man. The, those are the days. Wow, that was such a bad LP. <laughs> no chemistry again. Okay, so we're already repeating. Uh, I guess there were only a couple new classes then. Oh, don't <laughs> don't say it was okay. It was bad. It's it's okay to be honest here. X. Okay. I can never like X and B confuse me on this controller. It's like in different places than I expect. Oh, let's see. I hit the wrong one. I hit X on that one. Does that fail me automatically? No. Okay. We try again. Oh yeah. It was nowhere near the quality that uh, Skies of Arcadia was. Like, I have to pay attention to what, like, X and B are, because that's the only thing that messes me up. I'm so not used to a 360 controller. Yeah, I mean, that is kind of a good point, because um, that was, I mean, I guess probably about four years ago. So, you know, <laughs> like, at that point, there wasn't really a whole lot of super good quality stuff up there. But, I mean, there was still good stuff being made. It's just not by me. <laughs> so... Oh yeah, the bullies, I think the respect for bullies is low enough now that they will attack me on sight. So that kind of gets to be annoying until you uh, kind of, you know, finish up the chapter. Yeah, I mean, for one, like, my voice sounded different back then because, one, that was four years ago, and I was 19 four years ago. So, uh, and second, like, the microphone was pretty much crap. It was like a $5 microphone, so it wasn't really... You know, it wasn't really the best in the world, but... Yeah, it came through alright. It's one of those things where I kind of like... Uh, you know, you just kind of have a fond remembrance of the older stuff. So, it's like... Um, you know, it just just because it was one of the original ones, it kind of has a little bit of a soft spot. God, little kids are laughing at the shirt. Dude, screw you. I have n I don't care what you say. I mean... this is This is probably the best shirt I have ever worn. Uh, we probably have enough statistics here to get average age of the chat <laughs> by all that I'm seeing here. I'm just waiting for the next class to begin. There's not really a lot to do. I guess we could screw around papers all over the floor. Get some of the posters. Ted is the right choice. Oh, yeah. Now, there's there's a campaign slogan. Be a man. Vote now. Don't be a nerd. Be cool and vote for Ted. That's like completely eliminating... Oh, is it someone's birthday? 21 in two days. Happy birthday, Lord Chrono. It's awesome. Statistically speaking, uh, how many people do we have viewing right now? Like 180 something still, I'm guessing. Dress code. Okay, I actually am getting busted for dress code, but I can still be fun. Looks like it's time to do the second assignment. If you 160. Okay, so it's it's gone down a little bit, but that's cool. Uh, so yeah, 164 is uh, statistically speaking, it's likely that it's somebody's birthday soon. So I'm, I'm not entirely surprised. Yeah, so someone says tomorrow, you know, we've got a couple within a couple days, though. Yeah, I am getting busted for the dress code now. They really don't like this shirt. All right, we get to do this again. Uh, first thing I saw was Fist. I'll look at the chat this time, just because it's... <laughs> I'm too lazy to really think. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not complaining about it. Like I said, I was expecting to fill, like, maybe a classroom. So, <laughs> you know, it's way more than I expected. I saw a gift. Fig is a great word. Good one. And then fig. Having an S makes things easier because, like, you can pretty much pluralize everything. Good one. Good one. Uh, can I have I done regular fight? No, I have not done regular fight. Good one. Gifts? Did I not? Okay, I didn't pluralize that one. Good one. S T I F is not a word. 
this. Yeah. Um, I don't think. <laughs> okay, we'll be uh, we'll be a little juvenile. <laughs> well, I'll let this one slide, James, since I don't want to stifle your creative spirit. <laughs> good excuse. Good one. Uh, sift is another good one. Good one. I've probably missed a lot because chat's scrolling a little bit here, which is new for me. I'm not used to this. No, you, I'm sure you can't use GIF. I don't think that would or GIF. Don't don't get into that argument. Um, I mean, we've already passed, so at this point it doesn't really matter anyway. Good one. No, uh, Legea 2 will probably not be happening ever because it's not really that great of a game. Good one. Excellent. Shifts? Did I not pluralize that? Actually, did I get the regular? Yeah, I did get the regular. Uh, no, there can't be shifts because there are not two S's. Gist. There we go. That's actually a good one. Good one. There's there's no O either, so sob does not work. Uh, fits. Yeah, I mean, it, oh, did I? I might already have that. Yeah, I think I do. Get. Oh, that'd be a good one. Ah, too bad. I did figs, not fig. Yeah, I've got fig. It's the top left one. Sits have already got. It's the top right one. Sigh is a good one. good one. I'm doing absolutely no work here, by the way. I'm just looking at chat like a monkey and just typing good in one. what I see. It's, yeah, I T S. Good one. I wish I had this kind of help. Sigh. I've already got sigh. I'm missing a three-letter word, and that's it. His. Yeah, that's probably it. Oh, I've already got it. Oh. Yeah, I'm missing one three-letter word. Uh, alphabetically, it's it probably starts with an H. It's fat. There is no A. It can't be tit. There is not two Ts. It starts with an H or an I. Ifs? No. Yes. <laughs> Ifs is totally not a word, but uh, that works. Hig, maybe if it was Higgs. Ifs, yeah, I don't know either. Uh, ifs, how do I ifs? Uh, oh, we have stronger shove taunts now. Ifs, oh, yeah, actually, it, that that would be really technical if it was like ifs or buts. That that would be, I, I would kind of raise an eyebrow at that a little bit. Ooh, I think we get to do the uh, defend the guy doing the presidential speech now. Yeah, I'm also disappointed that Get was not one of them. G-I-T. That's too bad. Move, nerd. Oh. <laughs> How original. <laughs> Call me a nerd. What next? Four eyes? Sticks and stones may break my Yeah, bones. This isn't all the uh, all of the classes either. There's, st I, there's still at least shop class. I guess it just hasn't come around yet. And I don't know if there's anything more. That's you? I'm the most suitable Irritable farting I'm syndrome. That's probably not it. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that was a wicked wedgie, man. Math and geography. Yeah, I've never done either of those, so. you vote for me, won't you? Yeah, not a chance. I'm too cool for you in my pink keyboard shirt. Now you're talking. I always knew I was a born leader. Yeah, but unless you buy everyone's vote. Yeah, like seriously, if that was just like an inch further, that would have been like that would have went nuclear that wedgie. Oh, unless I had a security manager. Oh, oh, please, please. I don't know. Security managers they cost a lot of money. Oh, I have money. I can pay you. Good. Matching flags to countries. Oh, I hope we don't do that on the street. Yeah, it would show off my my terrible geography skills. Because as far as geography, like we didn't really have a lot of geography classes or anything. So, uh, like I had geography in kindergarten. It was probably like the only time we had a dedicated geography class. That's why we have chat. Well, it's kind of hard to describe like places on a map like through text. It's kind of left of the one shaped like a boot. Okay, this one. Uh, we can use the map. I remember this. You can use the map to see where people are coming from. Oh, what? 
GeoGuessr. I actually checked out GeoGuessr once, and I like I don't know what kind of restrictions you're supposed to put on yourself, but like you know, I got the image and like moved around and cross reference. I've actually found a a phone number on a billboard and looked that up on Google and got I got to the location within like a handful of kilometers, I think. That's not that's not the Nazi flag. That's an E. It's an E for Ernest. Oh man. Dude, that guy's taking a huge- I should just let him hit that guy from how high up he was. Uh oh, got a couple. No, not only physical education, that's where I get my, my upgrades from. Woo! That, that's really weird, like that voice clip is super low quality. I wonder if that's like an intentional joke or something. Also, that music right there, it reminds me of the uh, Toy Story game on the Super Nintendo. I don't know how many of y'all have played that, but I had that as a kid and played it a lot. I'm having, I'm having to just take, like, sidelong glances at the chat, because I don't want to, you know, miss something and drag this out. Toy Story 2. I never, I never played any of them past the first one that was on... Uh, it was on the SNES and on the Genesis. I never played any beyond that. Oh, it's the mascot. You have to hit him multiple times, I remember. Can I hit him again? Yeah. Yeah, he run with... That was probably one of my favorite parts when you're in the soda cup and you have to avoid like all the people walking by and the soda cans falling off and everything. Have I seen the movies? Like Toy Story was like my favorite movie when I was a kid. Okay, I, I could probably quote it for you verbatim if we were watching it right now. I've actually thought about uh, LPing Toy Story SNES, but I don't like own it or anything, so I, I may actually still get to that sometime. Yeah, that little run right there, that did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, like that one. It reminds me, it's like one of the first levels has a run almost exactly like that. Yeah, I could emulate it, but I don't know. I'm just moving away from emulators in general. Yeah, woo, yeah. Lion King for the SNES. I heard that was uh, that was good, but I've never actually played it, so maybe one to check out. Oh yeah, we got the super slingshot. Now we have scope mode. It's it's like a sniper slingshot. This is the most advanced piece of technology. Shoot out the lights. Yeah, I think on on that mission you can actually um, how do I get out of slingshot mode? There we go. I think on that mission you can actually shoot out the speakers and fail it instantly. I seem to remember that. Uh, the levels, speaking of Toy Story SNES, because someone mentioned levels being a pain, um, the levels where you had to drive as RC and it was like a top-down perspective and you had to like pick up the batteries or else you would just, you know, run out and die and have to start over. I failed those so many times as a kid. Einhander, oh man, someone mentioned Einhander. That is an awesome game. I love that game. I'm so bad at it. I'm really bad at shooters, but Einhander is so much fun. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're actually we're gonna start Halloween here because uh, for one, Gary's in our bed and he's <laughs> dressed up. I, I mean, is that supposed to be like an SS outfit? Like, you know, I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, he put a costume. We've also lost the clock, so that means Halloween's gonna come. Yeah, Einhander's so music was really good. I was just lying here wishing I could be more like you. Yeah, whatever. But I'm cursed. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. I love the Halloween costume, by the way. I guess it's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, if I was a kid, I would probably have really liked that. Yeah, you're cursed. You're great. Whatever. What else? Yeah, like at least a German soldier or something like that. It's Halloween. All the prefects are at some. Like he has some kind of symbol, like on his like shoulder, right underneath the little neck cuff there. But. No, I'd say the opportunities for fun are pretty much nil. What do you have in mind? Come on, you'll see. You know, you would be surprised. I bet you could get an SS uniform at a costume shop somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, this guy wants to fight. Yeah, everyone's in costume. This is a pretty cool part. Uh, there's a handful of holidays in this game that, um... It's basically you have, like, no time limit. You can just do whatever. There's no prefects or anything around, so you can just go crazy. 
Well, yeah, like not the actual, but you know, a pretty close replica, you know, something like what Gary has. The bunny is adorable. The bunny is Pete, and uh, he's going to walk around with us, so you'll get to see a lot of him. Russell is also wanting to fight me, so we are... Uh... And I mean, it's it's not like uh, it's not like Rockstar has ever shied away from controversy too much, so... Uh, slap a student with a kick-me sign. Sweet, that sounds like fun. I think we just have to do like a bunch of errands, and then eventually the next thing will unlock. There's some interesting costumes, like there's a guy in a werewolf outfit, the guy with a pumpkin head. You can get the pumpkin head. But uh, we'll do that later. There's a uh, Dracula over here smoking. I don't think that's accurate. But... All right, let's, uh, let's slap someone with a kick me sign. I think we just like get close to them and press yeah press X. Let's do it on this kid. He's not wearing a costume. <laughs> I think if we wait around long enough, yeah, people will actually run up and start kicking him and I'll run away. So that's kind of fun. The hobo's costume is probably a hobo. I think that's a safe bet. Christmas. I don't really remember Christmas a whole lot other than you get a dopey sweater. Hey, Jimmy. Sounds, good. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm just going to agree before you even say what it is. Egg three students. We can do that. I think we can get. I think we can get marbles here from someone. One of the pranks is to use marbles. So we'll finally get to do what I wanted to do with them. Can I add Gary? Is Gary like one of the three? Yes, that actually counts. And Petey, where are you? I lost Petey. Like, he's not here anymore. I guess he's not walking around. Uh, will the chat be visible? No, uh, unfortunately. I'm not, like, recording that in any way. I mean, this is like a widescreen game anyway. I just egged the guy who asked me to egg people. I don't think that's going to work. But, uh... No, I mean, I don't... That's not being recorded. So, people on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, because I can, you know, future people, uh, you'll just have to guess what people in the chat said. So, <laughs> there you go. All right, I've got two out of five. I just now noticed that counter at the bottom. It's really close to the monitor. Ooh, an alien! Dude, I'm definitely gonna... Yeah, everyone, everyone say hi to the YouTube people, even though they will not be able to see it at all. Well, it's, I mean, it's not like I'm streaming on YouTube. This is just gonna be... Yeah, the volcano is pretty nice. You just blow people up. There's definitely, like, there has to be a prank uh, for a guy with with uh, with marbles. Do you have marbles? Stink bombs. Well, we've got another prank to spare, so we can do this. You know, this is a really bad idea, by the way, of... Uh, <laughs> The people who run this school to just have a holiday where the kids are out doing whatever with absolutely no supervision. Uh, there are pumpkins around. This guy wants to fight because I don't with the stink bomb. Uh, there are pumpkins around that you can smash if you want, but they'll actually be at a much easier to get location later, so we will not do that. Just throw stink bombs. Alright, are you a marbles guy? No, you have itching powder. This other guy over here has to be a marbles guy. Marbles, trip one student. Okay. So let's see if I can do this now. I should be able to, assuming I can get back into the dorm. Because this is one thing that I, like, very, very vividly remember doing uh, with the marbles when I had this game before. Actually, this is north. I don't think this is... I actually have no idea. That map does not really help. Actually, yeah, this is the right way. Smashing pumpkins jokes. It's like the, it's, making smashing pumpkins jokes while you're smashing pumpkins is like the lowest common denominator. That guy's still trying to hit me with stink bombs. Well, he can't catch me. I don't know if there's enough like people here for this to really take effect, but we'll see. So what you do is you get a bunch of marbles and you just like throw them in front of the door, and then once you run out, you pull the fire alarm. And then you hide in the trash. And then you watch. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> that kind of screwed up because of... Maybe I can... There we go. 
now all the marbles went away. It, it kind of it kind of got screwed up because I got like you know everything got reset because I passed the thing. But uh, yeah, usually at that point like people will just start fighting each other. So uh, oh man, look at this guy's costume. That's awesome. It's either an astronaut or the Fury from MGS3. Someone just say nice pants, wimp. That's weird. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to do it again uh, if we get more marble. So you can see, like, the full effect of it. You kind of got it there, but... The Fury. I love MGS3. The bosses were so cool. Does anyone know why your bully scholarship won't detect your Xbox 360? No idea. Uh, it could be that you haven't, like, my 360 controller, like, have install instructions. So, I mean, like, if it works with other things, that may not be it. But it just works for me naturally, so... No, not Nick Fury. Although, you know, if Samuel L. Jackson... L. Jackson, well, <laughs> it's late, by the way, just so you know. Samuel L. Jackson was in MGS3, that'd be pretty awesome. Okay, here's the deal. We're gonna feed Chad's dog some of this rancid meat. Jackson, yeah. Yes, yes, Jackson, laugh it up. <laughs> Yeah, it's 9.30, but I have, you know, I work at 6.30 in the morning. This is, like, nearing the end of my normal day for me. Okay, protect Gary from Chad. I am apparently doing a bad job of that. Get off. I'll tickle you to death. Okay, there we go. I mean, to, to be honest, if the only, like, misspoken quote for me is Jackson for the year 2013, I think, I think we're in good shape. Yeah, and I mean, the, the snakes line is already set up with Samuel L. Jackson, so. Oh yeah, by the way, we just gave the dog some laxatives and uh, we're bagging his crap. So there you go. <laughs> you don't normally pick up a bag of dog crap and then say score afterwards. It's a bag of poo is what that is. Sean Connery in, in Metal Gear Solid 3? That would be interesting. If Samuel L. Jackson was watching the stream, I would probably just like go crazy because that would be a little insane. Oh, don't worry about that poor pumpkin. We'll be doing a lot more with the pumpkins later on. I'm pretty sure I'm just supposed to go in the school. I'm not sure why I'm running around. I'm paying less and less attention and just kind of reading the chat and hanging out. Yeah, I'm saying Jackson on purpose, by the way. Just, <laughs> just so we're clear. Huh? And uh, yes, we are lighting this on fire. We'll soon see. Yeah, Batman Live. We just, uh, you know, welcome to the stream. We just made a uh, gym teacher jump on a bag of dog poo, and now he's trying to catch us, so we gotta run. Uh, unfortunately, you're kind of coming in on the tail end of it. We're probably only gonna be here. I mean, Halloween might actually be a decent stopping point, but. Oh, wow, he actually chased me outside. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, yeah, the Red Ninja costume. Oh, we can look at that as soon as I get away from these guys. Oh, we'll see the ninja costume. Okay. Yeah, the ninja costume, there's a few different colors of it. There's a red ninja, there's a black ninja. Uh, I think there's also a green ninja outfit. And those will... Um, I think the red and the black one do the same thing. They make you, like, invisible after curfew or trespassing. Uh, so like if you know if you're out you know in, or in the school like after hours or whatever you won't get caught by any prefects you're basically invisible so that works. This guy he just sees a ninja running around the dorm and he's like you know what I think I can win this fight let's go ahead and pick this one. Ermac yeah I guess it's close. Man, that, that rat is like really loud and it's right in the side of my earphones. So yeah, you can run around. Uh, ninjas, I think, does break the dress code though, of course. So, you know, uh, I guess we can run around with it for a little. It makes the game a little bit goofy, 
But th then again, I mean... <laughs> See, what I wish you could do, like, I don't think you can customize... Like, if you take off... Oh, you can! Okay, uh, we have got to make an outfit here. Let's see, I, I still want the backwards visor. That's That makes it... Uh, can I get the dress shoes? With the ninja pants, here we go. It actually... If I got a red hat, believe it or not, this actually kind of matches. Wrestling helmet. Run around with the skull face on. There we go. We'll run around like this. This will work for a while. <clears throat> School. Yeah, just just like embroid it. Or em, em, <laughs> it's like embroider it somewhere, you know. Just, just on the outfit somewhere. It doesn't matter. Okay, I guess we'll keep going for a little while longer. I'm starting to get a little tired, but we'll, we'll soldier through. We're playing some bully, so it's fun. See, that's the point. It's got to be the most uncoordinated outfit ever. If you're going to break the dress code, you've got to go all out. You've got to just shatter that code. Help Gary. I don't know that I want to do that. What's the other task? Let's see, is it... Oh, it's in front of the library. It's probably something with the nerds. I still... Will girls actually still kiss me if I do this? I have a bouquet of flowers, I think. I probably don't have a chance, but I really like you. Oh, here we go. More more bad pickup lines. Oh. Oh, that was... that was awful. I look like an idiot. Wanna hang out? Okay, well they're they're getting kind of normal. It was like it's really bad. Just that first little section of the game before you ever get any English classes is such bad. No, I'm not gonna hit the girl. Have a, we have a little more respect than that. What do I think of Metal Gear Rising 2? Uh, it doesn't exist. So, <laughs> couldn't tell you. Uh, some people said there were other classes. I don't know if we're going to get them here or not. I know, we're just going back to our class again. I don't know, like, the Are Those Real was pretty bad, but I think the I've Been Watching You one was still probably the worst. Okay, I gotta start it. I'm like, where, where's it going? You gotta wait here. So it's the same thing, just a little bit tougher because there's more erasers. Uh, I think you can't let them touch your line either. Like, that's kind of the point of the game. That was kind of close. I think this will freeze, yeah. There we go. Come on, are we almost done yet? Let's wait for this thing out of the way. There we go. <laughs> it's a, a little jagged, but you know, I got the job done. Very pleasing work. You better be taking notes. Yeah, the art minigame, it's not that bad. Uh, it just takes a little getting used to. Of all this <laughs> She just asked, why are you wearing those pants? So if I change the pants, the outfit would be good then? Yeah, it's uh, it's quick, it's like, it's Q-I-X, however you want to pronounce that. Uh, it's a real, it's a really old arcade game. It's pretty good though, I actually played it as a kid, so you know, I recognized it straight away. All right, I guess uh, we'll probably do this errand and then uh, do the next class. Let's pull the fire alarm. We'll do the next class, and after that, I'll probably call it quits. Uh, fire alarm. Where's the nearest fire alarm? It's got to be one around here somewhere. Here it is. <laughs> I'm gonna get caught by this guy though. Yeah, the scissors attack you on the borders, so you you can't just sit there. But you know, it's it's quick. So it's pretty simple to get the hang of. Just draw lines and don't get hit. 
I don't have any schedule for the next live stream. It's just um, I will probably do it again because it's been quite a lot of fun. But you know, it'll just be one of those things where like I'll announce it when I kind of get the time to do it. So I can pick some lockers while we're here. Do a little, do a little mischief. A lot of people ask about LPing MGS3. Uh, I've said this before. I have an Ask.fm page where I've been answering this question quite a bit. But um, the MGS games, like, it just follows, like, one continuous plot from start to finish. So, you know, it's kind of like I don't want to just do one out of order. And I don't want to do the commitment to do all of them either. So uh, that's probably just one of those, like, I'd really like to because MGS3 is a great game. But um, it's just like that's just asking to do projects for, like, a couple years in a row. And that's not something I really want to get into. Oh, it is time. This is definitely... Actually, it's... I don't think it is. I think it's PE. Yeah, it's PE. Uh, I don't know when she, did they take... They didn't take out Shop Class, because people were talking about it being buggy on the PC, so... They didn't take it out. Uh, I guess it just hasn't come around yet, which is kind of weird. Yeah, the people in chat are really nice. I've seen a lot of uh, Twitch chats that just went completely crazy, and were filled up with memes and, you know, awful, annoying stuff, but... <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, that's, I mean, cause I have, I mean, just to be straight up with you, I have literally no moderators, and I'm playing a game, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> you know, go into chat or whatever, and it's been completely, been completely fine. Shop, oh, that's actually, that's probably a good point, shop class after you unlock the town, because you unlock, like, bikes and stuff for it, so you can't really do that until you can get out. Look alive! Good! Hopkins, you're with the whips! I want everyone to give their best, boys, their best! Oh yeah, we're playing dodgeball. Uh, let's see if I remember how to do this. Help, I need help, what do I do? Uh, throw, jump, if I remember you like jump and throw, okay. Well, I didn't see all the controls, but that works for me. Okay, we get it again. Uh, throw, jump, defense, catch, and dodge. That's probably all I need to know. Okay, that was throw. I, jump is B, okay. Yeah, you can, you can do, like, this awesome, uh, like, jump power throw by jumping and then throwing. And they pretty much, like, never can dodge that, I don't think. That was a really bad throw. Yeah, dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Oh, he caught it. That means I should, like, technically be out. Oh, man. Wow, that, that guy went crazy. Okay, well, <laughs> we are losing all of a sudden. Like, I've got to get the ball. There. <laughs> okay, we've got, like, one little scrawny guy left, so let's see if we can pull this off. <laughs> okay, well, that works, man. That guy was the MVP there. Uh, yeah, the the volleyball LP man, that was so much fun. We need we need to play that again sometime. You paying attention? You are now more accurate with your weapons. It already had like a, a sniper scope on it. I'm pretty sure that uh, it's like I'm pretty sure that we were would have been fine before. Okay, I think this is probably a good time. Uh, I'm gonna just head back to the dorm and hit up. Yeah, uh, it was U.S. Championship V-Ball on the NES. It's a four-player NES game, and we got uh, we got four people to play it with us. So, uh, Kylera with the NES emulator we were using, like the its its netplay client was really bad. And there's actually there's an out there's an outtakes video uh, out there from that, and it's pretty funny. <clears throat> and my throat is getting dry. I do plan on, like, I intentionally picked this game because, like, if I wanted to, you know, continue streaming in the future, we'd have a good place to leave off and, you know, start over again because this did last for a while, so we can just kind of make our way through it as we stream. So, you know, if I were to do it again, like, which I probably will, you know, at some point, I, like I said, I don't know really when, but, um, yeah, we probably will, so, you know, we'll just continue it on the, uh, on the next one. Cabela's Dangerous Hunts, those are fantastic games. 
Okay, I think we're going to call it a wrap here. Uh, thank you guys for coming out. It's been a whole lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, not stream Sunday. Don't worry, I'm not going to be streaming on weekends. That's like my recording time. So, <laughs> you know, that's, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, it's been a, it's been a great chat. Cool seeing uh, some, some familiar names around. Everyone's been well behaved, and I think we had a good time. So, thanks everyone for watching. I don't have a hotkey to stop screaming. S screaming? <sighs> it's late. I don't have a hotkey to stop streaming, so I'm gonna have to like. I made I made this cool little like image splash screen, and I never really got to use it. So, it also is still not working. Okay, let's see, it's all tab. It's been so good up to now. See, there's my there's my little be right back screen. So. Yeah, but I'll stop screaming. It's it's late. I guess we should probably stop screaming. So, All right. Well, thank you guys for coming out. It's been fun. We'll probably do this again sometime. Like I said, don't know when. Uh, I'll announce it at some point whenever I get around to it. But it's been fun. Night, everyone. Yeah, I'm probably going to go to bed soon. So It's late and I'm tired, DK. So, yeah, pretty much. All right. Well, thanks for coming out. See you guys. <laughs>